Okay, so half-life. Okay, from the term half-life, ano yung pumasok sa isip nyo nung nakita nyo itong term na to? Diba? Kasi nung nag-aaral ako ng rap deck, ang unang pumasok sa isip ko, nung nabasa ko yung salitang half-life, oy, laro to, counter-strike. Diba doon nag-umpisa yung counter-strike eh, sa half-life, sa half-life na video game. So, sa inyo ba, ano ang half-life? Na-encounter nyo na ba yung salitang half-life? Baka naman na-encounter nyo na nung senior high kayo. Or baka nag-compute-compute na rin kayo before. Okay, so wala talaga. Mga sumasagot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Siyempre, at the end of the presentation, uh, students will be able to define half-life, discuss the different type of half-life, so reserve natin yan, kasi assignment nyo yan. Solve for half-life problems. Okay. Okay, so radioactive matter or material is not here one day and gone the next day. Okay. So rather, radioisotope disintegrates into stable isotopes of different elements at a, at a decreasing rate so that the quantity of radioactive material never quite reaches zero unless stable. Diba? So, dito, sinasabi lang yung uh, concept ng radioactivity. Diba? Simultaneous emission of energy of or particles and particles until it reaches a stable uh, element or a stable atom. Okay? okay, so radioactive material is measured in becquerels and that one becquerel is equal to disint uh, disintegration of one atom each second. So the rate of radioactive decay and the quantity of material present at any given time are described mathematically by a formula known as the radioactive decay law. So ano ba yung radioactive decay law? So ano ba sinasabi dito? Yung rate ng decay, yung pag... Yung, uh, ano ba yung rate ng... When we say rate, decay rate? Yung bilis ng emission or pag uh, transform niya from one material to another or one element to another. And then of course yung quantity ng specific uh, radioisotope at any given time. Say technician 19 hour. Uh, technician 99M. Technician 99M has a <coughs> has a half life of six <coughs> sorry. Six hours. So Ganong kabilis yung kanyang rate? So, every 6 hours, magdedicate siya. Or, mababawa siya siya ng kalahati. Okay? Yung activity niya, mababawa siya ng kalahati. Yung quantity niya, yung material niya, mababawa siya ng kalahati. Okay. So, radioactive half-life. So, this is the meaning na ng radioactive half-life. So, the time required for a quantity of radioactivity to be reduced to one half of its original value. <coughs> Sorry. So the symbol is T one half or T subscript one half. So iodine 131 ay merong half life na 8 days and carbon 14 Half life niya ay 5-7-30 days. Parang hindi mali yata yung 5-7-30 days. Kasi years to kanina eh. Anyhow, so mamaya balikan natin yan. Okay. So again, half life is a radio isotope. O a radio isotope is the time. Okay. Ito ha. Dapat pandaan. Time required for a quantity of radioactivity 
to reduce to one half of its original value. Laging one half of its original value. A time required. Okay. So each element, each radioactive element, have its specific half life. Okay. So let's say yung kanina ayo din one three one. Ay din 131, di ba sabi kanina, ay 8 days ang kanyang half-life. Okay? Let's say I have uh, the original value of ay din 131 that I have is uh, say 50. Okay? 50. 50 micrograms. Okay? 50 micrograms. Okay? So, after 8 days, ano mangyayari doon sa iodine-131? Okay? Mangyayari sa kanya ay magkakalahati siya. So, from 50 magiging ilan? 25 kasi 1 half of its original value. Tama ba? 50 kalahati ay 25. Tama ba? Pag namahiya. Okay, so, ayan, value. Okay, so, one half of, original, of its original value, half life. Okay. So, lampasan natin yan. Okay. So, carbon 11, carbon 14. Okay. So, ayan. Uh, chemical symbol, so, yan, 11C, 14C. Okay, so, ito na yung half-life, so, tama. Uh, years yung kanina, dapat ay years, hindi days. Okay, so, half-life ng carbon 11 is 20.334 minutes. While carbon 14, ang half-life niya ay 5,730 years. So, magkaibang element, magkaibang, or, sorry, magkaibang radio, uh, radio isotope, magkaibang half-life. Okay? Okay, naintindihan. Kaya dapat alamin natin kung ano yung half-life ng isang specific radio isotope. <coughs> okay. Let us continue. Okay, so ito yung radioactive decay loan na sinasabi natin kanina. Okay? So again, it is the prescribed uh, rate of radioactive decay and the quantity of material present at any given time. So formula niya ay activity remaining equals original activity times 1 half or 0.5 raised to the power of number of half lives. Okay, nakuha nyo ba? Okay. So, tingnan natin. Okay. Ang pangit ko pa naman magsulat. Okay. So, let's say, i-transmit, uh, i-gamitin natin itong formula na to. Okay. A, is equal to A sub O for the original activity okay, times one half ano yung N? The number of half lives Okay? So, number of half lives. Okay? So, yan yung ating formula. Okay? So, you can jot down the formula. Then, oh, so, note, radioactive material never quite reaches zero. Okay? So, na okay na sa formula. 
Meron tayo mga example dito. Okay. So, half life of Iodine 131 is 8 days. If 10 10 ano to, mega becquerel of Iodine 131 was present on January 1 at noon. Then, at noon on January 9, only 5 becquerel would remain. So, tama ba? Tama ba yung sagot? Tama ba yung sagot na 5 mega becquerel lang matitira sa tanghaling tapat ng January 9? Kung ang original value ng iodine 131 ay 10 mega becquerel noong tanghaling tapat ng January 1? Tama ba? O mali? Tama po. Bakit tama? Hmm, tama. So, madali pa lang, di ba? Kasi, isang tingin nyo pa lang, alam nyo na yung tamang sagot. Okay? Hindi, hindi nyo nga ginamita ng formula, di ba? Kasi, kalahati ng uh, 10 is 5. Kasi, 8 days yung lumipas. So, simple. Okay, next. On January 17, Okay? 2.5 mega becquerel would remain. And on January 25, 1.25 mega becquerel would remain. Tama ba? Tama ba? Okay, so my question would be, how many half lives it take for the uh, for iodine 131 to reach 1.25 mega becquerel how many half lives oh 24 days are you sure my question is how many half lives how many half lives would it take for iodine 131 to have its uh, value or have its uh, uh, amount to or activity to 1.25 mega mega ilang half lives ang lumipas sixteen why sixteen Oh, okay. So, eh, pero nakumpisa tayo ng January 1. Ano ba yung araw na merong 1.25 mega becquerel? January 25, di ba? So, is that 16 days? Pero mali pa rin. Ulitin ko yung question na, how many half lives transpired? So that the 10 mega becquerel of iodine 131 in on January 1 ay magiging 1.25 mega becquerel on January 25. Ilang half lives ang nang, nangyari? Tatlo po ba sir? Tatlo. Bakit tatlo? Okay, so tama, very good. So, it took three half lives 
for a 10 mega becquerel of iodine 131 to become 1.25 mega becquerel of iodine 131 on January 25. Okay, so naintindihan ba? Naintindihan ba? O naguguluhan pa kayo? Siyempre, yung formula natin, hindi pa natin ginagamit. So, ang tinatanong pa lang, simple question pa lang, ilang half-life yung nangyari? So, given naman, the, the half-life of iodine 131 is 8 days. Okay, di ba? Given naman siya. 8 days. Okay, ito yung present activity. Okay? On may date then at, at, at any given time on given yung time January 1 noon okay so then redirect to your story okay so after 8 days naging 5 okay from January 1 to January 9 from January 9 after 8 days ole naging 2.5 Bakit 2.5? Kasi half of its original value, ibig sabihin, kaya nga half life, half lang tayo ng half. Divide lang tayo ng divide ng 2. Okay? Then on January 25 after 8 days, so we have 1.25. Okay. So a blood of radioactive decay of uh, iodine 131 allows 1 to determine the amount of radioactivity remaining after any given length of time. Tingnan natin. Okay. So, this is the uh, percentage of the original radioactivity. So, let's say, nag-start siya ng nag-start siya ng uh, 100. Okay. 8 days ang kanyang apply. Okay. So, pagdating dito, ika-8 day, so 50 na lang siya. Then, after 8 days ulit, so dito, 25 na lang siya. After 8 days ulit, so probably nandito, okay, ilan na lang siya? Uh, 12.5. Then, after 8 days, hanggang sa siya ay maging stable. Okay? Or wala na siyang ma-emit na uh, radiation. Okay? So, na-gets na po ba? So, this is a graphic representation of how half-life uh, works with uh, time. Okay? Or the given uh, days or time na nakadepende sa half-life nung isang particular na uh, radio isotope. Okay? okay. So, after approximately 24 days, or 3 half lives, the linear, linear plot of the decay of 131 iodine or iodine 131 becomes very difficult to read and interpret. Bakit? Kasi palit na siya ng palit. Yung amount niya, or yung activity niya ay palit ng palit. So makikita niyo sa graph, ba? Uh, below 1 na siya. Okay? At kapag uh, nag half pa siya, uh, pwede pa siyang bumaba sa below 0 0.1. And so on. Okay? So, ganyan usually yung nangyayari sa ating mga uh, radio uh, isotopes. Okay? So, theoretically, all the radioactivity of radio isotope never disappear. After each period of time equivalent to one half life, one half the activity present at the beginning of the time will remain. So, yun na, Iba kaya nga half-life, so 
it is the uh, rate and number amount of the activity uh, one half of its original value okay. then therefore although the quantity of radioisotope progressively decreases it will never quite reach zero kasi uh, hanggang sa smallest number siya ay makukumpute pa rin okay. pero syempre hindi na tayo aabot dun sa uh, 0, 0, 0, point something 0, 0 ng mga bar. Okay. So, another problem. On Monday at 8 a.m., okay, 10 megabecquerel of iodine-131 is present. How much will remain on Friday at 5 p.m.? So, compute. Okay, again, the half-life of iodine-131 is 8 days. Okay na, may answer na ba kayo? So, anong tinatanong? Tinatanong ay kung how much activity will remain. Kung ilang mega becquerel lang matitira on Friday, 5 p.m. Okay, sige, mag, mag 3, 3 o'clock na. Okay. So, check that on your book. Okay. Then, next meeting, we will do, uh, we will solve for different types of problems regarding applied. Okay. And, after that, I will be giving you a quiz for uh, radioactivity and apply. Okay? So, my question ba? Again, don't forget to read your book. Kailan na ang discuss natin ay nasa book.